help me understand y'all how this sounds. I'm I'm sick of Monique. I'll tell you right now, I'm sick of her. But she won't stop, right? Monique posts three-year-old text with her son, Shalon. Fans think she's going too far. This is on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Um, four hours ago, Monique is trying her best to debunk her son's allegations. Fans think she's proving them. Okay? So, Monique has continued to respond to her son, Shalon's claims of emotional neglect by posting text messages between the pair from 2020 and 2021. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, my sweet babies, here are the receipts from a mother who allegedly does not love her son. We are sharing this with you. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. You know what that means. It's her and her daddy. We are sharing this with you, Shalon, and the community. Some will completely get it. Others won't. We love us for real. Monique and these taglines is getting on my last damn nerve, too getting on my last damn nerve she is not taking this insta fame from the club shay shay interview and using it for good in any way shape or form she digging her hole worse and worse and worse ma'am you should have just went on that cat williams tour made the most out of it get a best deal from 50 cent or whoever and live your life out get new management but you know what? She is the epitome of you not going to tell me to her own damn detriment. There's no need. You will not ever, ever, never, ever, never see a, a message, a text message, a nah, nothing between me and nah, none of my children. Nah, nothing. 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 For, for effing what? And it's from what is this 24 years ago three to four years ago three to four years ago does Monique live in the present at all y'all that's what I want to know does she live in the present at all in her present she's bringing up the past all the damn time lord 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 all she had to do was not you know criticize him or mention him whatever she did in the interview it was either that she only has three sons which she know damn well she got the oldest one or something she said about him Child, this is not a way to make yourself endearing to anyone. Why can't she reach out to her son directly if she cared? Or why can't she just leave anything alone? That's a that's a bigger question, right? Because you know I'm a firm believer in F them kids, all right? Why can't you just let it go and leave them alone? Leave it alone. Let it go. Who cares? Too busy. Too, too many people too worried about what other people got to say and what they think. But you allegedly a part of you want to uh, be for real be a part of the uh community community you love us for real ma'am you you don't seem like you love your own damn son and instead of trying to figure out a way to blame him you are the parent so if you don't have a leg to stand on let it go and even if he did just say he did something wrong y'all just say shalon did something wrong monique keep that shit to yourself keep that shit to yourself you are already in how long ago was the uh, Shay Shay interview? A week ago? You have turned complete and utter support. Now you're down to 50-50. You keep on talking and talking with your man. You don't have that back to where you was when you was talking about bonnets. <laughs> it's not funny. But this is just crazy. Wow. Women, black women in particular, do you ever know when to just shut the do do women just ever know when to shut the f up ever do you have to say something do you have to acknowledge every single thing that somebody says what is that about does does anything what happened to jay-z's brush your shoulders off what happened to that don't nobody y'all need and re-listen to that song bring that back up to number one child Mm, mm, mm. the comedian wrote on instagram so we're gonna take a look at all these text messages she put on her damn instagram is still there however the move hasn't gone over well with fans monique these texts are three years old most of which you're missing calls and never calling him back why is that one person asked as a mother of a young adult son whom i often disagree with i think it's the ultimate violation to post intimate discussions between you and he a group of people you do not know do not need to know your son's credit issues, the plans for their midwifery, or what they ate for dinner. 
You did not have to do this and you did not owe anyone any more details than has already been given. Your son expressed that you have violated his boundaries as your child. He also expressed that you care more about fame than motherhood. Your posture and your response has dictated that he was correct in his assessment. Another fan wrote in a lengthy response. Shout out to that person. I'm sure it was a woman. Shout out to her. Because that's basically uh, the gist of it all. That's basically the gist of it all. Who lo- And then then her talking about, um, I'm going to have to go look at that. Her telling uh, Shannon Sharp that he shouldn't date white women. The all damn audacity. You're going to try to lecture and father Shannon damn Sharp. I don't know how old he is. Let's just put him in his 40s. But you can't even help your own son in his 30s who has your grandchild. Lord, Lord, Lord. It says Monique delivers on promise to wait and see. Y'all, this is half damn crazy. Let's go to the DAC on do it from here so we can all see that this her. Real real world mo, world whatever her name is. 1.6 mil. Okay. Here are the text messages. Still up. It is 4:30 on Valentine's Day. These text messages are still up. She still didn't think about taking them down. I'ma just filter through because I'm not gonna um I'm not going to read them. Ain't nothing positive going on around here. Or you could just go to her page, of course. But I'm going to read some of these comments. Uh, first one is from Nosy Ho on YouTube. She says, I posted both of your videos on my YouTube channel and comments are crazy. People seem to be siding with Shalon. Real Mo, I suggest you work this out with your son alone. Daddy might not be able to help you with this one. Your son seems to resent him. I'll keep watching and reporting though, wishing you the best. Monique, these texts are three years old. Most of which are missing his calls and never calling him back. Why is that? Um, This person says i wish our people went to therapy more her son aiming all this at her and could be talking to a therapist he is a grown adult i know too many grown men still blaming their moms for why they are not happy today i pray this man one day wakes up to the debt of gratitude he could have towards his mother the good and bad and count it all joy problems arise and challenge us to respond to the issue and do the work needed on ourselves so that we are not defeated by problems but come out even better on the other side instead folks will spend so much time focused externally everyone is to blame but themselves everything is a reflection so however you see the situation might be how you see yourself in the world this is one of those people who are a firm believer in family over everything and anything no matter what they do this whole response here, and I'm not saying that therapy is not necessary, but to say that he needs to get therapy and Monique is all absolved and correct here, she's the parent. She's the one that decided to have the damn kid. The kid is clearly reaching out if you look at these daggone text messages. And like the previous person said, she was too busy to be bothered with what the hell it is that she was doing to even respond to her damn kid, to even deal with her damn kid, to even call the kid back. Now, I'm not saying that he was a child or a minor, I should say. But the point is, is that your child reaches out every single time. Y'all know you've been on, you, we've been on live streams. I'm like, oh, that's my granddaughter. I'm, I'm, I'm answering the phone. Oh, that's my daughter. Hold on. I'm answering the phone. And anybody, anybody, granddaughter, child, I'm, I'm answering the phone. I don't care what I'm doing. I could be at work. I could be in a meeting. I could be on a plane. If it, if the ring comes through, I'm answering the damn phone. One, because I need them to know that I'm always here for you regardless. Two, it could be of importance. Three, if you're reaching out to me, that means you want me and that makes me feel good. Now, other people might look at it a, a different crazy ass way. That's how I look at it. Now, mind you, if they, if they ever talk in some mess, I'm going to tell them. Trust me, I'm always going to tell them. And they're going to be exasperated and then they won't be calling. Okay. So when they do call, I'm answering the phone. Even if they haven't talked to me in a while and something is wrong, I'm answering the phone. I'm answering the phone. Always, 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 always. 
Now, I might give you a response that you don't necessarily want, which is probably a way to correct your own situation. But don't say that I'm not there for you because I'm always going to be there for you. If it's something foolish, I'm going to tell you it's foolish and we're going to move on. I'm going to tell you and they don't want to hear that. Trust me when I tell you, they don't want to hear that. Oh, but I'm going to tell you. I promise you I'm going to tell you. So Monique can't even be bothered to return her child's call. She can't even make him a priority. And then this woman going to sit up here talking about he needs to have therapy and absolve Monique completely. Shout out to the sisterhood. Never fails. Anyway, there is more, y'all. There is more. I get it. We going to watch it. Y'all let me know what you think. Just like this one. That's it. That's all. Like the video, comment, and make sure you subscribe if you are new. I'll see you all in the next one. We do not care.